We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Welcome, 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 my dear friend, to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I greet you in that precious name, the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. We find our hope, our deliverance, our peace, our joy, our blessing in Christ. My dear friend, today I want to pray special house cleansing prayers. If you are in a place where you're noticing things happening in your house or you feel uneasiness when you come home or perhaps you have just bought a new house or you have rented out a new place, I want to pray for you that that house will be cleansed and the presence of God will fill that place so that you and your family may dwell there safely. It is so important that when we as born-again believers get a new place or shift into a new place and when we are experiencing things that are not normal, not natural and not from God or we are uneasy in our house, we are unable to sleep at night. It is so important that we pray special prayers over our home so that we may experience God's peace. There are various different things that we bring into the house on a day-to-day -day basis. There are movies that we can watch that can open doors for demonic activity and also when you're shifting into a new place, you don't know what was done in that place before you got there. When you have purchased a new place, you don't know who was living in that house and how they were living, whether they were living to honor God or whether they were living in another way. You don't know, which is why it's important that you take that territory for Jesus and you welcome the presence of God in that place. It is so important. So in saying that, let us begin. Let us welcome the Holy Spirit and then we'll go into a time when we praise God and then I'll begin to pray for your house. Special house cleansing prayers. In saying that, let us begin. In your own words, now welcome the Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit, touch us, help us to pray. Come and fill that house and that place where my dear friend is watching. Let your presence be in that house. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And in that house, let my dear friend have many great testimonies and encounters with Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, in saying that, let us begin to praise God. Right now, in your own words, begin to lift up praises to God. Father, we praise you and we thank you. You are our God, you speak and you live. You open up the way in the wilderness. You deliver us, you fight for us. You see us through. You make a way for us where there seems to be no way. You are the one who brings victory in our lives. You supply all our needs, you take care of us. Our lives are in your hands. You sustain us, you bless us, you supply for us. You provide everything that we need. And today we are thankful and we are grateful for all that you do. Thank you, Father, for all that you do, from the small things to the big things. Thank you for another opportunity to pray and to seek you and to spend time in your presence. Thank you for a great opportunity to enjoy what you have done for us, to enjoy what you have done through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank you for a great opportunity, another day, to enjoy with our family and friends and to walk in our purpose and destiny. Thank you that even as we pray today, even as we have started to praise you right now, your presence is beginning to fill that house where my dear friend is watching and the atmosphere is changing. Wherever there was an atmosphere of fear, that atmosphere is being changed to an atmosphere of peace and comfort in the presence of God. Wherever there was an atmosphere of doom and gloom, it is being changed to an atmosphere of hope and the word of God and your promise. We give you praise and we thank you that you are omnipotent and omnipresent. And therefore, even as we pray, wherever my dear friend is tuned in, be it in America, be it in India, wherever it might be, you are touching 
You are blessing my dear friend and you are effecting a divine change, a change for the better in that place where my dear friend resides or that place where my dear friend is moving into. I give you praise and I thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, my dear friend, as we begin, I encourage you, connect in faith, comment and agree. Where two or more agree on a thing is touching, it shall be established. Where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. So agree and receive in the name of Jesus. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend's house. I pray for my dear friend's home. If my dear friend is moving into this place or just moved in, I pray that you will take over this territory because it belongs to your child. I pray that wherever there is any evil in that place that may trouble my dear friend, drive it out right now by fire and by force. Drive it out. Send your higher ranking warring angels to clean the atmosphere. Let your presence begin to permeate that place. That it will be a place of peace, of hope, of joy in the Holy Ghost and amazing encounters with you. We dedicate that land and that area, that space, that atmosphere to you. And wherever any evil was done in that place, we cancel it right now and we shut those evil doors, the doors where the devil uses to enter, the access points. I pray that you will bless that house and that home that my dear friend will enjoy many good times in your presence, many good times with family and friends, wherever any evil was committed that gave the devil an access point. I pray that you will cleanse that area and bring peace, peace that surpasses understanding, that whenever my dear friend comes home, they will not have feelings of not wanting to be home, but they will have so much peace that they enjoy being in their house, that home that you have given them. I pray that you will cleanse the atmosphere from any negative words that have been spoken in there in the past. Cleanse the house and the walls and the ground from anything negative that has been done in that space. And let your presence be there. Wherever there's any evil causing bad dreams, causing weird things to happen. I pray right now, drive it out by fire and by force and bring a mighty deliverance. Bring peace in that home. Bring healing in that home. Let it be a place where my dear friend can pray and can have special visitations from you. We dedicate that place, that home, that house, that space as an altar where my dear friend can seek you, where my dear friend can pray, where my dear friend can press in. And I thank you, Father, that even right now, your angels are in that place. I see you going forward and doing amazing things in my dear friend's life, even right now, and touching and changing the atmosphere of that house. I thank you, Father, that right now, all weights of doom and gloom are being lifted. All weights of sorrow, all weights of sadness, all weights of darkness are being removed and you are giving peace and refreshing. Let that home, let that house be a place of refreshing. A place where your angels, your higher ranking warring angels, are able to freely ascend and descend. And your presence reigns in that place. As your word says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We choose to serve you even in our houses. Our whole household belongs to you. Our whole family belongs to you. My dear friend's whole family belongs to you. And therefore, even in that place where my dear friend is tuned in, bring blessing, bring favor, bring answers to prayer, bring great joy, and bring the fruits of your spirit. Bring peace and bring freedom. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, there is deliverance, there is hope. Thank you that right now, the blood of Jesus is covering that whole home and it is cleansed, it is made pure. The ground has been dedicated to you. I give you praise and I thank you for this in Jesus' name. 
Amen and Amen. It is done. Hallelujah. In saying that, we come to the end of this video. I trust, know, and believe that the atmosphere in that place where you're watching has changed and God has touched you. Right now, even as we end, I'm sure you are feeling a sense that a weight has been lifted off and that is the deliverance that God has brought. In saying that, we come to the end of this video from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.